So in this video, I'm going to teach you all electronic component names, symbols, and pictures. So let's get started. Let's begin with the SCMD resistor. As you can see here, this is the resistor. Here we have the symbol for resistor. As you can see here in the math board, over here we have SMD resistors. The second component is the SMD capacitor, as you can see, and this is its symbol. Here we have plus and minus. This is polarized capacitor. Here, this color over here means the negative terminal, and here we have the positive terminal. We call it electrolytic capacitor. As we can see here in the motherboard, do you see? Here we have electrolytic capacitor, here we have plus, here also we have plus. So this part is positive terminal and this part is negative terminal. Then we have the tantalum capacitor, this is also polarized capacitor, this is the positive terminal and over here we have the negative terminal. Okay, so here also positive, negative. So this, as you can see, Bended line means negative terminal, okay? Then we have one of the most important components in every motherboard. This is the ceramic capacitor. This is the symbol for ceramic capacitor. As you can see here in the motherboard, you can find ceramic capacitors everywhere in the motherboard. As you can see here, here also we have serum capacitor, this is serum capacitor, over here we have serum capacitor, serum capacitor, etc. But please pay attention, this compound for example, it has the same shape as you can see as the serum capacitor, but this is inductor, as you can see we have L means inductor. So the serum capacitor is around every IC in the motherboard, okay? Then we have inductor or coil, winding inductor. As you can see, this is a symbol. We find this kind of inductor in the computer motherboard, okay? Then we have the stacked inductor or ESMD inductor with this symbol. As you can see here in the motherboard, we have the stacked inductor. This also, this also, this also, and this. So this is inductor. The reference for inductor is, as you can see, PL or L, okay? Here we have PL38, but here we have L13, okay? Anyway, you can find L or PL. Then we have other kind of inductor. This is thin film inductor, exactly as we have here for this one, or even this, and also this one. Here we have L4, L1, okay? And those are capacitors. So we have ACM diffuses. Do you see? It has two symbols. This symbol with a line here, or this symbol. So here we have F means fuse, or zero also means fuse, but we call this a fuse resistor. So let's see the motherboard, if we can find any fuse resistor here, or fuse. So basically, we don't have here any fuse here. As you can see, this is fuse resistor. I, I don't know if you can see it or no. Anyway, this is the fuse resistor, okay? Then we have SMD Zener Diode, as you can see. The purpose of Zener Diode is to stabilize the current in the circuit. Do you see this line? The blue line means we have the cathode. This line means this line, as you can see, the cathode. And for the anode, we have the anode. But pay attention. You can find some diodes like this one with a black color. As you can see here in the motherboard, for example, this diode over here, we have a black color. This is not Zener diode. This is a normal diode. But over here, we have the Zener diode as you can see with a blue line okay here we have the ACMT push button switch this is basically a normal switch with as you can see the symbol we find the switch in the on off button then we have normal diode this is SMD diode do you know exactly what SMD means SMD means surface mounted device 
okay means to compound is mounted in the surface in the motherboard surface okay not holes okay so this is diode with the anode hair and the cathode hair so let's see the motherboard if we can find any diode over here so let's see okay here this is basically inductor this is also inductor so let's see if we can find any diode here we have resistor here do you see here we have diode as you can see this is diode here we have pd so for diode d or pd we have pd to t means this is diode here we have to cut out why because we have here as you can see a white line means over here we have the cathode here we have to cut out as you can see okay so here we have mosfet basically a terminal mosfet we call this a terminal mosfet this is sm diffuse okay so with gate source and drain so four pins for drain as you can see here four pins for drain and for gate we have one pin over here and for source this is three pins okay so pin number one two three so this is source gate and over here we have drain let's see the motherboard if we can find any mosfet so we have mosfets here as you can see for this one it's not mosfet this one also it's not mosfet why because we have here u but for mosfet we have q PQ. so please pay attention the reference for the mosfet in the motherboard is q or pq as you can see here do you see pq but for the ic as you can see we have u so this is ic this one also is ic and also here as you can see we have the ic okay we have here u3 okay so this is two mosfets do you see this dot over here this dot means this is the pin number one two three so this is the source gate and over here we have drain okay then we have the transistor exactly the s in the transistor we have because this transistor is mounted in the motherboard surface okay with base collector and emitter so base over here we have base collector and emitter okay always remember base collector emitter okay so let's see the motherboard again so here as you can see we have q this is basically transistor this two component is transistor also you can find mosfets with the same shape and the same terminals okay here also we have transistor here also we have transistor okay so we have here acmd this is basically light emitting diode okay it emits the light with two arrows here this is basically the symbol the same symbol as a normal diode plus these two arrows means emitting light so let's see the motherboard if we can find any led here on the motherboard or not so we don't have any led here no problem then we have a regulator do you see here this is this compound basically is not an ecmd component it's not in the surface mounted the face we call this kind of component hole true hole tht component because we have terminal so true hole technology component so this is the voltage regulator basically it is like a mosfet or a transistor but its terminals are different it has the input the ground and the output okay so input ground output okay for example for the input it could be 12 volts and output is 5 volt or the input could be 5 volt and the output could be 3 volts okay then we have network resistors as you can see this kind of resistors is a combination of many resistors it call it could be 3 4 5 etc okay do you see this is basically a combination of many resistors with this value basically this value means what means 1000 ohm or 1k ohm here we have 10 and these two 
which means two zeros after 10 means 1000 ohm okay so let's see the motherboard if we can find network resistors as you can see over here do you see here we have network resistors here also so basically this network resistors is a combination of four resistors but this one for example over here or this one do you see we have four or five resistors so i have a question here what is exactly the purpose of this resistor so basically the purpose of this resistors is to minimize do space in the motherboard to gain the space in the motherboard okay then we have the current sense resistors this basically it sends the current is it okay or not okay so we find this kind of resistors always in the beginning of any circuit especially in the charge circuit 3 volt 5 volt circuit okay its resistance is is about zero or two ohms so let's see in the motherboard if we can find any current sense resistor as you can see here we have current sense resistor. do you see here basically this is the power jack and as you can see here we have the switches and we have the current sense resistors over here okay then we have fuse resistors we have already seen the fuses anyway this is fuse resistors you can find one zero above the fuse resistor or three zeros this is basically the symbols it could be this symbol or this symbol but this symbol is universal symbol and this one is us symbol okay and for this one this is a worldwide or universal symbol that, that you can find everywhere in every schematic also you can find this one but it's not like this one then we have the thermistor resistors as you can see here this is the thermistor resistors and over here we have two symbols it could be this one or this one with a row over here and we have t here then we have the light dependent resistor as you can see light dependent resistor it is the opposite of the led so for the led the arouse is in this direction out and here the arouse is in so this is photoresistors we call it photoresistors or light dependent resistor ldr okay then over here we have the short key diode as you can see its symbol is like a normal diode but here we have this line as you can see here this bended line we have the anode we have the cathode you can find also a short key diode with three terminals two terminals or even four terminals okay for this one for example this is its symbol two diodes connected together in their cathode as you can see means we have three terminals three terminals or two terminals so for the shoot key diode you will find it in the output for the output we use it for the output voltage okay so for the switch mode power supplies you should never replace a normal diode with a short key diode never because this kind of diode is not the same as a normal diode that is used for example in the bridge rectifier this is a very fast diode so basically the next component is the tvs diode this is another type of diode as you can see here so it could be of course a two terminal diode or three terminals diode here we have this symbol as you can see it could be this symbol or this symbol next we have the crystal oscillator as you can see here so this is basically the symbol for the crystal oscillator so it could be like this or as you can see here in the motherboard so let's check so let's check basically as you can see over here we have crystal oscillator its reference it could be y as we have here or x 
okay so this is here crystal oscillator and over here also we have crystal oscillator but it is not connected as you can see we have x2 and here we have as you can see y1 so this is the crystal oscillator without the crystal oscillator the motherboard cannot work properly next we have as you can see here the 8p mosfet as you can see this is basically the mosfet with eight terminals as you can see you will find always three terminals for source okay so the first three terminals are for source then the fourth one is the gate as you can see here and other pairs are for drain okay so four terminals for drain three for source and one for gate basically the mosfet receives the control signals here in the gate when it receives the control signal the signal or the voltage will pass as you can see through this diode from source to drain or from drain to source depending on the type of the diode or of the mosfet is it n channel mosfet or p channel mosfets so here as you can see in the motherboard this is basically a mosfet we have seen that for mosfets you will find the reference is q or pq and for ic we have u so this component here is not a mosfet this is ic why because we have u but for this one this is mosfet so we have q if we go here also we have u means this is ic this one also we have here u3 means this is ic next we have the triac as you can see here so this is basically the triac so this is the symbol for triac as you can see it has two anodes as you can see here then we have the transformer basically this is a component that we find in the board in the switch mode power supply boards okay as you can see the transformer basically contain of two stage or two parts the primary part we have where we have the first winding or inductor and the secondary part when we have the second inductor so basically the purpose of the mosfet is to, to transform the energy from this side to this side then here as you can see we have the motor this is basically the motor here we have the symbol for motor it could be this symbol or this symbol so basically the motor contain two major part a stator and a rotor okay so this part basically this is a stator and this is a rotor this one also is a rotor then we have the bridge rectifier or we called it just rectifier it could be four diodes like this one or just one diode or two diodes so this is basically the bridge rectifier it has four terminals the positive terminal the negative terminal and two other terminals we called it AC terminal so basically the positive terminal is here the positive terminal is the terminal that is connected to anode of two diodes the negative terminal is here as you can see it is connected to to two cathodes of these two anodes and connected to an electrolytic capacitor and the ac is here and here okay next we have the relay as you can see this is basically the relay the relay contain always an inductor and a switch you see inductor and switch when this inductor is energized when the current passes through this inductor it will pull up the switch and the switch will be closed and then the voltage will pass from one side to another side then we have as you can see the potentiometer as you can see here basically the potentiometer is as you can see a variable resistor component that we can use to adjust the resistance okay this is basically its symbol it could be this one 
or this one but this is the frequently used symbol then we have the ceramic capacitor as you can see here this is the symbol for ceramic capacitor it could be as you can see here true whole ceramic capacitor also this kind of capacitor as you can see this is basically ceramic capacitors or we called it sometimes pf capacitors means picofarad capacitors because usually its value is in picofarad so this is ceramic capacitors that we find in motherboards for computer and laptops and this one basically we find it in switch mode power supplies we call this one ace in these ceramic capacitors and this one we called it THT ceramic capacitor or true whole technology ceramic capacitors then we have SM diffuse as you can see here why SMD because it hasn't as you can see the terminals this is its symbol as you can see here the fuse we have here three amps means the maximum current that this fuse can support is three amps as you can see then we have the voltage regulator this is basically s in the voltage regulators with three terminals Basically here we have four terminals, but this terminal here is connected to this one. So this is the symbol for the voltage regulators, as you can see with the input and output and of course the ground. This component basically is used to regulate the voltage. For example, if you have in the input 12 volt, we can get here 5 volts. Or, or if we have, for example, 5 volt here, in the input we can get 3 volt, 2 volt, etc. Then we have the power jack or the DC jack. As you can see here, the DC jack could have two terminals or three terminals. Okay, so for the laptop, for example, or some HP laptops, it has basically three terminals the ground, the positive terminal, and the ID here, the ID in order to charge the battery this is basically the symbol for a normal dc jack with two terminals we have here the positive terminal and here the negative terminal then we have the inductor you can find also this type of inductor in many motherboards for example here we have just this stacked inductor this one this one this one and also this two and you can find also like this kind of inductor as you can see we have l okay also this also this is another inductor we have here pl2 okay but in some motherboards of course you can find also this kind of inductor especially in old laptop motherboards or in some computer motherboards then we have LEDs we have seen already LEDs SMD LEDs in the previous part that you can find in the description box and over here we have other LEDs this is basically diodes you can test it using the same working principle as testing a normal diode but we call these LEDs THT LED why because we have this terminals as you can see this is basically the symbol the same symbol as diode but we have here a circle with two arrows means light emitting as you can see okay then we have switches basically here you gonna understand what is exactly the SMT technology and the true hole technology or THT technology so this is basically the ACMD switch as you can see this switch is connected to motherboard to the surface of the motherboard this is surface mounted device and for this one we have terminals as you can see that is connected to holes in the motherboard this is true hole technology switch and ACMD switch so the next component we have the DL airline package ICs. So I'm going here 
to teach you many ICs and of course I'm going to show you what is the difference between one IC to another IC. So basically this is DL inline package IC. You will find just the pins or terminals in just two sides as you can see. Okay, if we go to motherboard, as you can see here, this is, as you can see, the IC, the DL inline package. DL means the pins are in just two sides. Okay, as you can see, this one also and this one. And, and as I told you before, always you should differentiate between ICs and MOSFETs. For example, if we take this component we have here U as you can see means this is IC because we have U but for this one for example as you can see we have Q PQ as you can see means this is MOSFET okay so let's see the next kind of IC as you can see we have the quad LR package IC is quad means the pins or the terminals in the four sides as you can see if we go to motherboard here for example as you can see we have the quads as you can see airline ICs do you see the pins are in both in four sides as you can see okay so let's see the next kind of IC so basically here we have the transistor do you see as we have seen before we have base emitter collector this is basically the symbol for the transistor here we have three terminals base collector and emitter we called it THT because it has terminals as you can see then we have here the MOSFET THT MOSFET as you can see because we have terminals but if we go here for example for this kind for example as you can see of component this is a MOSFET okay basically this is SMD MOSFET you see PQ as you can see okay here also so this is SMD MOSFET and this one we called it THT MOSFET or true whole technology MOSFET because it has terminals as you can see for each sample, we have gate, drain, and source, as you can see. So we, when the gate is activated, when the gate receives the control signals, the signal or the voltage will pass from source to drain because the diode is toward the drain. So this is basically MPE MOSFET. But when the diode is from drain to source, means the cathode is in the side, we called this kind of MOSFET P channel MOSFET. Then we have on off button as you can see. Okay, this this is basically its symbol. So here, here we have the DC battery. When you find this symbol, means we you have a DC battery. Then we have as you can see here the amplifier. Okay, <laughs> so basically the, the amplifier is an IC. We have here DL a line package IC as you can see with as you can see V plus V minus and we have plus V is plus and V is minus this is basically the ground and over here we have the V out so this is basically the symbol for the amplifier this kind of, of amplifier basically is LM 358P amplifier this is a very known amplifier so this is basically electrolytic capacitor we have seen already the electrolytic capacitor but this one basically is the THT electrolytic capacitor not ECMD capacitor always we have plus and minus this is polarized capacitor so this kind of capacitor is used as you can see as a purpose to filter the current the same as this one but this one we called it SMD capacitor then we have the BIOS or the basic input output system this is basically an IC so for this IC basically it has a very important purpose in every motherboard without it the motherboard cannot power up or boot up okay so because the BIOS contain a program 
inside it we called it we called it the post program or the power on safe test program okay so it's terminal basically always for the pin number one as you can see it is connected to cs signal we have here the data output we have the right product the ground this is the data e or input the clock the hold and the vcc so always you should find 3.3 volt in the pin number eight of every bios in the motherboard without powering on the motherboard you should find 3.3 volts if you don't find 3.3 volt means you have problem with the 3.3 volt parallel or even the 3 volt 5 volt circuit is fails okay so let's check this motherboard if we can find the BIOS. Basically, always the BIOS is bigger than the MOSFET. So this one could be the BIOS. Okay, because usually the BIOS is near to the Super IO, SIO, or to the ICH. Then, as you can see, we have another integrated circuit. We called it the large scale integrated circuit, as you can see. It is IGC, it has a lot of pins, it could be more than 68 pins or terminals. For example, for this one, we called it LSI, as you can see, IC. You see, this is basically the super IO. This is the IC that is responsible for the whole power in the motherboard. As you can see, it has terminals in all sides basically we have here 128 as you can see pin okay here of course we have the pin number one here as you can see this is for this triangle means this is the pin number one and we have the whole here two three four until 32 33 until 54 65 as you can see so until 96 97 and we have 128 okay so this is basically the lsi ic or large scale integration ic then we have another kind of ic another bigger ic here this is the medium scale integration msi as you can see also it has the pins in four size then the small scale integration ssi we can call it also dl inline package ic because it has just the terminals in both sides not in four sides then as you can see we have a very large scale integration vlsi this is one of course of the most or the bigger ICs that you can find in motherboards with a lot of pins it could be more than 228 it could be it could be sometimes double okay it means about 256 about 256 okay and of course we have ultra large scale integration ulsi a very very big IC, as you can see over here then we have chipsets the chipsets basically you can find the processor the gmch the ich the graphic card etc so this is the chipset here we have basically the central processing unit cpu or the processor then we have the ram or the random access memory ram as you can see then we have electric lamp basically this is the symbol for electric lamp then we have the optocoupler this is basically an ic this is the symbol for optocoupler it has a photo diode you see two arrows as you can see out from the diode so and here we have a photo transistor okay basically the optocoupler has four terminals i have a video in the channel on how to test the optocoupler you can just go to the home page and click videos and search just write down optocoupler or opto isolator and watch the video a very important video then we have the diode basically for diode this you see this part here means the cathode and the anode so basically the diode 
let the current to pass in just one side from or one direction from the anode to cathode and also the diode is used for protection sometimes then we have the CMOS battery or complementary metal oxide semiconductor please pay attention here the CMOS batteries for computers this is its reference or its part number always use this part number CR2022 for computer do not use other codes okay so thank you very much guys please make sure to subscribe and you hit the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one and for anyone who want to join me in my patreon page you are very very welcome if you want other exclusive content and if you want a lot of schematics for free you can download it for free just become a member in my Patreon page and for anyone who want me as a mentor I can mentor you and help you via WhatsApp via live chat until you fix any problem you have with any computer you have and for also anyone who want to join you to join me in the YouTube membership you are very welcome thank you very much and see you in the next video